Okay, let's look at some complete the square. So complete the square is a method of partially factorising um, a quadratic and it can be useful for identifying the shape in the future of parabolas that come from that. So let's first of all complete the square with a simple national 5 type question x squared plus 10x plus 17. So remember that we have to 10 down to 5 and create a squared bracket. 5 squared is 25, we'd get rid of that and still add on the 17 and that would be x plus 5 all squared minus 8. Let's try another simple one, x squared plus 12x minus 11. So half the 12 down to 6, x plus 6 all squared, 6 squared is 36, get rid of that and I still need to take away 11. And that will be x plus 6 all squared minus 47. x squared minus 6x plus 19. So half the minus 6 down to minus 3. Now remember that 3 squared is 9, but minus 3 squared is also 9, and I still need to get rid of it. And add on 19, so that will be x minus 3 all squared plus 10. Final very simple example, x squared minus... 14x plus 51, half the minus 14 down to minus 7, minus 7 squared is 49, get rid of that, and I still need to add on 51, final answer would be x minus 7 all squared plus 2. Okay, now it becomes higher content when there's a coefficient above 1 in front of the x squared, so this one we've got 2x squared plus 8x plus 5. Now our routine with this one is to first of all take out a numerical common factor only from the first two terms only. And then I've still got the plus 5 at the end. And then half the 4 down to a 2, create a squared bracket. But remember that there's a 2 at the front. So we need to now get the constant that comes out of that. So 2 squared is 4. But I then times that by 2, which is 8, so I need to get rid of 8, and then add on 5. That's 2 bracket x plus 2 all squared minus 3. Okay, let's try another one. So 3x squared plus 12x minus 2. So what did I do? First of all, um, took out a numerical common factor from the first two terms, which was 2. So this time, a numerical common factor from the first two terms would be 3. Bracket x squared plus 4x, close the bracket, minus 2. Half the 4 down to a 2 and create a squared bracket. Remember that there's a 3 at the front. It's then 2 squared is 4, times that by 3 is 12. So get rid of 12 and I still need to take away 2. And that's 3 bracket x plus 2, all squared, minus 14. Okay, let's try another. Example 7. 4x squared minus 16x minus 5, take out a numerical common factor of 4, bracket x squared minus 4x, close the bracket, minus 5. So I'm now going to have the minus 4 down to a minus 2, create a squared bracket with a, with a 4 at the front. I've now got minus 2 squared is 4. Multiply that by 4 is 16, so I need to get rid of 16 and then take away 5. So that's 4 bracket x minus 2, all squared minus 21. Okay, example 8. This time we've got 5x squared plus 30x minus 11. So take out my numerical common factor of 5 bracket x squared plus 6x, close the bracket, minus 11. I'm going to half the 6 down to a 3, create a squared bracket with a 5 at the front. 3 squared is 9, times that by 5 is 45, get rid of 45 and then take away 11. 5 bracket x plus 3, all squared minus 56. Okay, example 9. Let's just change this up a wee bit. So, minus 2x squared plus 8x minus 7. So, not only have I got a number bigger than 1 in front of x squared, but it's also a negative. So the first move with that would be to take out a common factor of minus 1. 
that would then change the sign of everything in here. So minus 2x squared becomes plus 2x squared, plus 8x becomes minus 8x, and minus 7 becomes plus 7. That now allows me to sort this out and take care of the minus 1 at the front later. So again, that was just taking out a common factor of minus 1, which changed the sign of everything. Negative to a positive, positive to a negative, negative to a positive. Why did I do that? So that I would have a positive x squared here to deal with. Okay, so let's then take out my numerical common factor of 2, as usual. So that's 2 bracket x squared minus 4x. Close the bracket. Plus 7. I then half the minus 4 down to a minus 2 and create a squared bracket. Minus 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, so I get rid of 8, and then I still need to add on 7. Let's just tidy that up fully within the rectangular bracket. 2 bracket x minus 2 all squared minus 1. I can then open that up, and that will be minus 2 bracket x minus 2 all squared plus 1. Okay, let's try another one like that. Minus 3x squared plus 18x plus 7. So first of all, take out the common factor of minus 1 rectangle squared bracket, which will change the sign of everything in there. 3x squared minus 18x minus 7. Common factor of minus 1. Take out my numerical common factor of 3. Bracket x squared minus 6x. Close the bracket. Minus 7. Close that bracket. I'm now going to have the minus 6 down to a minus 3, create a squared bracket with a 3 at the front. Minus 3 squared is 9. 9 times 3 is 27, get rid of 27, and I still need to take away 7. Let's tidy that up. That'll be 3 bracket x minus 3 all squared minus 34. I can then finally open it up, and that will be minus 3 bracket x minus 3 all squared plus 34. Okay, example 11, this time minus 5x squared plus 40x minus 3, common factor of minus 1, within the bracket then that's 5x squared minus 40x plus 3. I'll then take out my numerical common factor of 5 bracket x squared minus 8x. Close the bracket. Plus 3. Close the rectangle bracket. Minus 1 bracket. I'm going to half the minus 8 down to a minus 4. Create a squared bracket with the 5 at the front. Minus 4 squared is 16. 16 times 5 is 80, so I need to get rid of 80 and then add on 3. That's minus 1 bracket 5 bracket x minus 4 all squared minus 77. And I can now finally open that up. Minus 5 bracket x minus 4 all squared plus 77. Okay, next one. Let's change it up a wee bit. I'm going to complete the square with 3x squared plus 9x minus 4. So take out the numerical common factor of 3, bracket x squared plus 3x. Close the bracket, minus 4. Now initially this looks as if it's straightforward, but um, there's a wee bit of awkwardness that we'll need to deal with. Uh, this time, when we have 3, we will not get a whole number, but a fractional number. So you have to you get 1.5, but we're going to write that as 3 over 2 and create the square bracket. Now at this point, we need to be sound with our ability to square fractions. So remember that if you square a fraction, for example, 2 thirds, you square top and bottom, that would be 4 ninths. So now we're going to square 3 over 2, so square the top, that will be 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, 
So that's now nine quarters. But then nine quarters multiplied by three is 27 quarters. So we'd be getting rid of 27 quarters and then taking away four. Now at this point, I'm going to take the opportunity to change that four into quarters. So think about that then as if it was four pizzas. You split it into quarters and that will be 16 quarters. So final answer of this one, three bracket x plus three over two all squared minus 43 quarters. Quick check if I can simplify this fraction and I can't, so that is the final answer. Now I'm just going to take talk through this one again. Took out the common factor of three and then half to three down to 1.5, but write that as three over two. I'm then squaring the fraction three over two, square three and you get nine, square two and you get four, so that's nine quarters, but nine quarters multiplied by three is 27 quarters, so I get rid of 27 quarters. I'm then taking away four, but thinking about four pizzas as quarters, that would be 16 quarters, take away 16 quarters, and that will give me the final answer. Okay, example thir 13, y equals 2x squared minus 10x minus 7, take out the numerical common factor of 2, bracket x squared minus 5x, close the bracket, minus 7, I'm now going to have the minus 5 down to minus 5 over 2, square the bracket, so let's go through this process again. So minus 5 over 2 squared. Well, we know if we square that, we'll get a positive result. So 5 squared is 25. 2 squared is 4. So that's 25 quarters. Because 5 squared is 25. 2 squared is 4. 25 quarters. 25 quarters multiplied by 2 is 50 quarters. So we're going to get rid of 50 quarters. And then get rid of 7. But thinking about that as 7 pizzas and quarters, that will be... 28 quarters. 2 bracket x minus 5 over 2 all squared minus 78 over 4. Now close inspection of the fraction at the end will tell me that I can simplify that by dividing top and bottom by 2 which will give me 2 bracket x minus 5 over 2 all squared minus 39 over 2. Example 13, we're going to complete the square with 9 minus 15x plus 5x squared. So, slight different dimension to the equation, but let's put it in the order in which we normally see it. 5x squared minus 15x plus 9. But don't be surprised to see things presented to you in a slightly unfamiliar order. Okay, so take out a common factor of 5 bracket x squared minus 3x, close the bracket, plus 9. I'm now going to have the minus 3 down to minus 3 over 2, create a squared bracket. There's a 5 at the front. So, square a negative will become positive, so I still need to absolutely get rid of that. And 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, so that's 9 quarters. 9 quarters multiplied by 5 is 45 quarters. I then need to add on 9, but I'm going to change that into quarters, which is 36 quarters. Okay, so final answer, 5 bracket x minus 3 over 2 all squared minus 45 quarters plus 36 quarters will give me minus 9 quarters. Okay, example 14. Complete the square with minus 4x squared minus 12x plus 11. Well, first of all, let's take out my common factor of minus 1, which will change the sign of everything in there to 4x squared plus 12x minus 11. And then take out my numerical common factor of 4 bracket x squared plus 3x minus 11. And then minus 1 bracket half the 3 down to a 3 over 2, create a squared bracket. 3 over 2 squared is 9 quarters, 9 quarters multiplied by 4 is 36 quarters, so I'm going to get rid of that, but 36 quarters, remember, is 9, so that's minus 9 minus 11, 
that will then give me minus 1 bracket 4, bracket x plus 3 over 2, I'll square the minus 20, followed by my final answer as shown.